Either this is a contradiction of the Trinity or there's an easily explained answer. We believe because the Bible teaches such that Jesus is God, but there's a problem that some people believe is a problem or possibly a contradiction. And that is in James 1, it says, verse 13, let no one say when he is tempted that I am being tempted by God for God cannot be tempted by evil and he himself does not tempt anyone. Well, wait a second. If God cannot be tempted and Jesus is God, doesn't the Bible say that Jesus was tempted? And if that's the case, then we have a clear contradiction. A contradiction is to say that this is and then to come back and say this is not. So A is or A is not. Those are contradictory terms. And so can God be tempted? The Bible says in James, no, but then it says that he, God or Jesus was tempted. Well, let's go and see. In Matthew 4, 1, the Bible says that Jesus was led up by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted. So he was led to be tempted. Again, it says that Jesus or that God cannot be tempted. And then we have in Hebrews 4, verse 15, it says, For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. And of course, this is the very same Hebrew passage or, or the book that tells us that Jesus is God. He says, the son, your throne, O God. So Jesus is called God in Hebrews and said that he was tempted tempted, but without sin. But the point is, or the question is, how could that be? That seems to be a contradiction. Well, it's not. Understanding what the word means is the point. If we go back to James, let's just look at what that word peroxo means. The word peroxo means to be tested or to be put to the test. It means to attempt, to put a trial in front of, to be tried. And what the Bible is saying is not that Jesus could not be put to a test. It's not that Jesus did not have to go through trials. It's the fact that those trials did not work. Here's what I mean. Let me give you a practical example. To me, if you were to tempt me with something that would not would maybe tempt some other folks, but not me, it doesn't mean that I'm not being tempted. It means the temptation will not work. If you were to tempt me with asparagus, if you were to tempt me with carrots, if you were to tempt me with something that I, I really don't like, it's not going to do very much. You try, you put me to the test with something that I could overcome. Doesn't mean that the tempter did not try. In this case, the devil tried to tempt him, but tempt him with what? The very things that he created, he tempted him with power or the world or with food. You could not tempt God with what he created. And so he was put to the test. He experienced it, but it did nothing to him because it was not a trial for him. Now, you could tempt me with sweets. Yeah, then that would work. Some other folks you might tempt with sweets and it wouldn't do anything for them. And in this case, Jesus went through some similar states that we went through yet without sin. Whatever was brought before him, nothing could cause him to sin. And so it's not to say that he could not go through a trial. He could not be tested. What James is trying to say is that you can't really get away with testing him. He will pass the test. That's the point that James is making. You cannot cause him to sin. You cannot cause him to feel as though he's missing out on something. You cannot get him to desire things that are not of him. You could not get me to desire asparagus. You could not get me to desire some other things. Similarly with God. And so in this regard, no, we do not have a contradiction. We have a statement of fact that James makes. You can try, but it doesn't work. And it didn't have to. And his point is, it doesn't have to with us because we are led away by the lust of our own heart is the point that James is trying to make. There is no lust. There is nothing ungodly. There's nothing that God can be, or in this case, Jesus can be led away with. And so in that regard, we can kind of see now it makes sense. Okay, God or Jesus cannot be tempted. Amen.